Hey everybody, Bart here with Cycling Strong. So I get asked this question all the time because I travel quite a bit for business. So owning companies and stuff like that, you gotta go different places, right? When you go, the big question is, how do you take your bike? Do you fly it? Do you, you know, what do you do? I always ship my bike because most of the places I go, it's two days and I'm lucky enough to own two bikes. But this video will work for you very similar if you're shipping a bike on the airplane. So a lot of the similarities but there are a few big differences. The number one big difference is, is that this is a bigger bike case than I use when I fly, and I can throw a lot of stuff in this case because the weight, I can just let it be shipped, so therefore I can have a lot more weight in the actual case itself. So those are a couple things to keep in mind when you're doing something like this, but I'm gonna do a walkthrough on how I get ready to go on a trip and what I do to go on a trip to be able to ride with other people and what I do. So this is gonna be a long video, I'm not gonna lie. There'll be a lot of little nuggets in it. You may not want to stick it through, but if you want to stick it through, it'll be worth your time with the content there is in there. So now, the first thing I do is I get a bag ready. I have a bag like this. I always put my Garmin, all that kind of stuff up here. So sunglass cleaner, lights that I need, things like that that I know I'm going to want on the trip all go in here. So here's my tail light, everything like that for when I'm going to go ride goes right here, okay? Now, if I have an extra water bottle, something like that I need, I'd also be putting it in here. So that's where this is right here, okay? My shoes go right here on the end. So right here, you can see there's my shoes. They're in there. I'll throw that cup right there, my shaker for protein, stuff like that. Inside here, what happens is all my kits, everything from socks, kits, everything like that. I count them all out shove them all in here. My arm warmers, leg warmers, anything I'm gonna need that way for the trip goes right here. Headphones, whatever you're doing. Then I just seal this up. You'll see why I use this bag and the size I use. That is everything I need for that. Now, I pack another bag very similar to this for all my nutrition, okay? And I'll show you that here in a second. Now, on the bike itself, I'll bring it over here before I start tearing it apart. You'll see that I have my water bottles that I'm gonna take on the bike. So this is the set I'm gonna keep clean, predominantly use the entire trip, okay? Then what I do is I flip the bike up, throw it down like this, and then I wanna make sure that this is in the lowest cog right here before I start taking stuff off of here. Well, and I hit the wrong one right there, no big deal. So let's go like that, sorry everybody. So we'll drop that down. Okay, so we're good that way. Now, one thing you're gonna wanna see uh, really quickly, and this uh, got some stuff on the bottom here, but it is what it is. So right here, let me see if I can find it really quick before I show you this, maybe on the other side. Well, I'll find it as I'm packing the bike. Anyway, I'll show you why a wheel has to be a certain way in here, because it's what scratched up my frame really good one time. Now, <clears throat> you're gonna have, no matter what kind of packing you're gonna do, you're gonna have wheel bags, like this right here, okay? So you're gonna have those wheel bags, get your wheel bags out. Once again, I can slide this back a little bit if that helps you, Kobe. He's not, we're not gonna edit this, it's just raw going through it, so forgive, forgive us, we're just trying to help you out. I have a bag like this that's in here, very important. It's got a whole bunch of different things in there that we'll go through as we start to pack this bike. Now, just to bring up, because I'm gonna leave it in here, this is a high pressure bike pump. The reason you gotta have that is when you get there, your tire pressure isn't right and to find a pump is not easy. So make sure you take some sort of pump like this so you can get on the road when you get there. If you don't have one, that's something important to have. And I forgot it on my first few trips and it's a nightmare to uh, find that uh, type of stuff. So uh, make sure you have that. All right. Okay, inside the case, there's this right here. There's also a, this stand right here. So this stand turns in this case so that you can set up a full bike, full bike stand to work on your bike. Um, 
I am not going to do that today just because it takes a little extra time and I'm just going to do it right on the floor like this. So I'll move this kind of out of the way until I'm ready for it. Set that there. I may end up having to adjust a few things because this is a uh, different, it's a new uh, setup here for me. So a new setup as far as this device here. All right, so now that I'm kind of ready for the bike itself, what I'll do is I'll pull off my front tire. Okay, I leave the skewers on. Some people take their skewers off. Totally your preference. I'm just going to grab a bag. Um, Okay, one wheel ready to go. Okay, back wheel. The reason I bring this down is so that it pops in and out of here for me easier. Other people may do it differently. There's the back wheel. Now, I'll back up a little bit for the camera for you because there is one thing that I do on the back wheel. So I have a paper towel right here like this. And I put that paper towel, have a little, created a hole right there. I put it like that. I'll, uh, I'll kind of set this up a little bit. Hopefully this bike will hold here for me. And then I take this and I just put it underneath this to hold it on here. Kind of like that. And then I just secure it up. The reason I do that is, is just because this is greasy and I don't want grease all over the bag. Uh, but I don't want a lot of weight in here of a big towel because weight is important, especially if you're shipping on uh, the airplane. So. Okay, wheel number two is ready. Actually, one thing I do need to do on wheel number one that I didn't do is I got to pull the skewer off wheel number one, which is the front wheel, because you use it to uh, load your bike with. But wheel number two, you don't need to pull the skewer off. So um, no big deal. OK, so <clears throat> this is set up right now for a road bike. So I just stick the skewer in. Start to screw that on right there. Leave that. The bike comes up. Now this should sit right there on that. And I'll have to do a little adjustment, it looks like, in the back end. No big deal. But you want to make sure this is clamped down just like you would a wheel. Nice and placed just right there. Then on the back here, <clears throat> there's some different heights that you can go with this and the way that this sits and different positioning. So you want your sprocket and you want that to sit dead center. I don't know if Kobe can see that really well, but you want that frame to sit dead center on this right here. So this little plate right here, that's where that needs to just sit straight down on there. So whatever your widths are right here, there's little things that you can adjust that. Make sure that that's sitting like that. Now, before I have this totally set, I'm going to go around like that. There's a reason for it because I'm going to lock this right here. I'm going to tie it to the frame so this can't move while it's being packed in the case. Okay? Then this right here comes up around. Just like that. Now, <clears throat> before we secure that down, we're going to grab a rag like this, and we're going to stick it between here and there because I don't want that to rub. 
on that frame the entire time I'm going. So when it's in transport, you want to make sure that you're looking out for your bike frame. And then you want to tighten this down as tight as you can get it. Because that's going to be pressured right there, bouncing a lot right there on that, okay? So that's why I've done it that way. All right, so now the bike is secured there. I need to go through the bike itself. And like I said, the stand is, is nice. It helps a lot to get it up while you're working on it. I just don't want to mess with it today. I take this right here. This protects a part of the frame for me. And I just throw it right here. This is actually out of one of my other transport bags. I just like how it's beefy right here and kind of takes care of stuff. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now, I told you that we had a bag full of stuff right here. This is what this, this bag is for. It's, uh, it's got all the Velcro pieces. It's got all my packing stuff for uh, this bike. So <clears throat> I've got these Velcros cut to different lengths. So I'm trying to find one that's just a bit, that one, shorter because I'm going to use it And I went too short. Okay, so that right there doesn't need to be tight. It just needs to be so that doesn't go up and down. Then I take this one right here. I move the chain up because the chain, once again, is one of those items that can rub while in transport, right? So put this cloth down there like that, and then all I do is I take this right here with the chain, everything there, wrap it around, grab that right there, secure it right there just like that, okay? So that way the bike chain is tight. We've got this tight, this tight, all our moving parts, right, are tight. Okay, so super important. <clears throat> Pull that out of there. Now, a lot of people don't do this. I'm telling you, it's a must. Buy a torque wrench because you're working on carbon. You got a high-end bike. You want to make sure the bike is lasting and uh, that it's in good shape. So um, you need a torque wrench like this, okay? I'm just going to... This camera right now is sitting really on an angle. So let me just, there, flattens it out. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, so what you gotta do is you gotta undo this side. Undo this side. And I kinda do them a little at a time. That way you, uh, you're not working against yourself here, okay? Then inside here is the other size that you need for your top right here. Pull that one out, stick it in here, back there. Then you undo this. Now, remember how many uh, rings you have on the top because when you put your bike back together, you want to make sure that you put your headset here at the same height as you had it before uh, with your spacers. So go like that. We'll set that there. We'll pull this straight up. Make sure you keep that there so it's not going to hit something. Then take your spacers. Stick them on here. They'll fall down. That's why I tell you. Make sure you know that you ha I, I have two there. Screw this back down. Now obviously you're not going to torque this. You don't need to uh, at all. So just tighten that right there and be done. Now <clears throat> that takes care of this. This is more important obviously on the other side when you're actually tightening it. So now also in here I have a whole set of wrenches right here 
in case I need to fix something. Uh, I've got little ties here for the case, which you'll see, I'll throw one out. Uh, and there's tape in here, which you'll see the reason why here in a bit. Okay, so now that we have that, the thing you're gonna have to figure out for your bike is how your handlebars need to go so that it'll fit in your case, okay? So for me, I know that this needs to go somewhat like this right here, okay? Now, knowing that means I've got to tie that to the frame and make sure it's secure. So, <coughs> one thing I do is I have this right here. So, this comes underneath, right, to protect the frame right there, okay? So, for that, I'm going to put one of these underneath, secure it right there, get that right up in there the way I want it to be. And then I usually have a paper towel right here. And that goes around this so that that doesn't have any problems that way. Okay, like that. And then Now, depending on how this works for me today, it may be totally different. I, you know, kind of just have to roll with stuff here to figure out how you're going to do this and what's going to make the most sense so that you don't scratch your bike up, stuff like that. And this has got to be good and tight because I'm telling you, it's not those guys' fault. I'm not blaming them at all. But in transit, they are not nice to your bike and you can't expect them to be. So they're gonna beat this thing like crazy. So. thing of Velcro somewhere that I've set down. Now, what I really wish I had was something longer right now to somewhat pull this all around like that. So I'm gonna see if I can find some more Velcro here in a second. <clears throat> but I think that's actually gonna work fine even if I leave it like that, um, if I'm out of Velcro, which I just might be. I thought I had a, another piece. Okay, but I don't. All right, so we'll leave that. Now, this piece right here has to travel. This is your piece right here that kind of a pain, but it has to be there because that, okay, so that locks there which will help with that. <clears throat> like I said, if I could, I'd tie that down a little bit more, which I'd have to find something to make that happen right now, and I just don't have it. So that's gonna have to happen the way it is. Um, all right, so now what I do is kind of assess the bike itself and think if there's anything on here that is gonna rub, scratch, that I need something different on before I totally cover the bike up. And then I have these right here. So now what we're gonna do is, 
We're going to pull this case back up. And then this is going to come up. Okay, now that is set inside there. Rock solid. You can see it solid because I can pick the whole case up. It locks into place. Okay. Once you've got your bike in place, now for me it's important that I kind of just, what I do is I take, because I set stuff around my bike, I pack more stuff in here. I want to make sure that I've got the bike covered up. Okay. So I kind of cover it up and just have some stuff on there just to actually going to switch blankets. This is the one I use back here because it's got grease all over it. Okay, now I'll turn this around so Kobe can kind of get a shot. He may have to move that a little bit to see in there. But if you look, the derailleur's back here. I've covered it up with the blanket. Everything's protected here with the blanket. So when I put stuff in, everything's kind of protected. All right, so now the importance is, is that you want to think about is where your wheels go, okay? So I'm going to put a wheel here. And on this one, we know that we have the cassette on here, right? So the cassette is right here. Don't put the cassette down next to the bike. That's what I did and scratched my bike up. So you've got to put this cassette away from the bike. So you want to think about it going in and away from the bike and down in here, okay? So right there is where that's going to lay right there. Now, the reason I've got these kind of to the front is because I'm going to pack the back, okay? So, as we all know, oh, hey, there's that roll I was talking about. Anyway, now we got plenty. All right, so. We've got our tools that need to go in here. I left out a little zip tie. I'll show you where that goes. I shove this in, but I make sure it's in there good and tight in a good place. It's not going to rub on the bike. The reason I use this bag right here is for this reason right here, okay? This bag sets right here in the back. Now, if Kobe can show you that, that'll help you see that all my clothes, all the things I'm going to need to ride with are sitting right here, right? So here's my frame. Derailleur's covered. Everything's covered. Bag's not going to get dirty. Nothing's going to get dirty. I have to be really careful with this right here. Because it kind of, uh, it's a tough thing to have right there, but that, that kind of gets ticked up. Okay, now I've got all this space right here and right here to fit things in for travel. Okay, so that's how that kind of works. Now, <clears throat> I take, you've got to have a helmet with a case on it. You cannot travel without a case on it. It will break them. I've done it several times. It always breaks the little plastic thing inside. This kind of case, cat-like, makes... In my opinion, one of the greatest helmets there is out there, and they make a phenomenal case. Once again, that can sit right there, rides real easy, and very well protected. So now, uh, for the main things that we're going to pack in this case right here, this bike is ready to ship. But there is one thing that most people don't realize, and that's this. You've got to have a FedEx packet like this. I like this one better because I can use it multiple times on a trip because it's got an easy little thing right here. So what you gotta do is you gotta think about, they want this mounted. You can see I've mounted one right here multiple times. So I'll kind of bring this like that. And then what I do is I just peel this off. Look at where my last one kind of was.
okay? Now, <clears throat> this is important because on your return trip, once again, you're gonna use this, right? So you need to be able to get into this part right here, okay? Everything else is pushed down like that, but the key is on a, on a case like this, the problem is, is that you, uh, it's very slick surface. So that surface kicks your butt because that thing will peel off. So what I do is I have to take a little extra packing tape and that's why I have some in my bag in case something happens. And I just take some pieces and I secure it. Just like that. Okay, so that'll give it a little extra. And then once I want to use this right here, I'll slide my shipping in there. Then when I need to pull it out, I just reach in here, pull it out, stick the new one back in, okay? So that's how I, that's how I get that ready to go for that. And then uh, that's ready to be shipped out. Now, <clears throat> I also do this right here. Now, if you don't have a knife, or something in your your bag you're gonna need one to get this off when you get there but what I do with this is when I put the top on you'll see right here that this has a place to lock this down so no one can get in your case. And that way I know if this is gone, somebody's got in my case. So I put that on, all said and done, lock it down. But when you get there, you gotta cut that off. And if you're at a hotel or you don't have a knife and you're flying or whatever, that can be difficult. So make sure inside here, you have something that you can cut that with. Other than that, uh, th that's a full on way I pack my bike. All my stuff goes in here. If I have extra things from whatever the event is and I'm shipping it back and I have space, this is where I just put everything in here because of the weight. So uh, anyway, hope that helps some of you out there know how I pack the bike, what I do. I'm using this Thule case uh, right now. It's worked really well for me. The reason I liked it and I bought this size of case is it does cost a little bit more, but I wanted to ship more stuff in it. I could leave my pedals on and lucky I'm, uh, I'm short so my seat height is still low. Some of you guys are going to have to bring your seat down and some of you guys are going to have to maybe take your pedals off. So totally up to you. I leave my pedals on. It does rub on the sides of this case a little bit, but uh, nothing that bothers me that much. So great case, great way to pack your bike. Hope that helped a little bit. I know it's a long tutorial. Thanks for sticking it through. Get out there, keep riding your bike and cycling strong.